You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Bold and the Beautiful fans, I've got your early edition spoilers for the week of September 2nd through the 6th. We are going to see Finn acting all heroic and hope Logan's obsession is growing out of control. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And as we always do on early edition day, real quick, I'm going to walk you through what's coming the rest of this week to give you some context for the spoilers for next week. So, you guys, how did Bold pull off this twist with Luna? I, I'm not entirely sure they were planning this from the get-go. I feel like <laughs> maybe they, whoever they had originally picked, they're like, eh, that doesn't make sense. And, you know, I don't know. But I am enjoying it. And as I predicted, we got unseen, never-before-seen flashbacks of Luna doing all these bad deeds. And I was very pleased that I, I hit the mark on most of my predictions with that. I'm enjoying this. And... Yeah, so let's talk about what starts Wednesday, August 28th. Steffi, still in the cage, totally desperate to save herself before it is too late. She is locked in there, no food, no water. She didn't even get the dignity of a bucket like Justin gave Thomas to poop in. And she knows this demolition is coming because Luna said, scream all you want, no one will hear you. So I'm sure Steffi is going to try to get her head on straight now that the drugs have worn off and she's going to try and figure out how to get out of there, but it seems she's not going to be able to. Meanwhile, Finn is very worried. He had that whole deal with Liam showing up, being his usual Pratt self, trying to blame things on Finn, you know, because he just can't believe Hope would do this. And, uh... Finn kicked him out, and then Finn went over to give Brooke and Ridge an earful about Steffi running off. I actually loved when Finn kind of laid into Brooke when she even tried to defend Hope because, let's be clear, Hope's actions are indefensible. You know, you want to dredge up stuff from the past to say it's okay to do it. It's not okay to do it. He's a married man. So Finn accepts that Steffi is gone and he's not supposed to contact her, but he's very worried. And so he wanted, you know, to check in with Ridge in case he had heard. And, you know, hopefully that's what he's hoping for, but we all know it's not going to go that way. So Finn goes over to talk to his mama, Lee Finnegan. He wants some help. He wants some advice. I am betting that the good Dr. Lee is going to give him a big fat serving of, I told you so. Remember when he's all like, oh, I'm friends with Hope, la, la, la. And she's like, don't get between Steffi and Hope. That's a lot of years, a lot of baggage, a lot of betrayal. Just don't go there. He did. I hope she does hand his bottom to him about this before she gives him advice. Lee's typical advice is always go to your wife, spend time with your wife. So I'm betting she's going to tell him whatever you need to do, find out where she is, go there. I'll babysit the kid, make this right. Meanwhile, Looney Luna, aka Lunatic, heads over to the LAPD lockup to visit her mama Poppy. Now, I'm just wondering if she is going to do some sort of villain monologue like she did with Steffi. You know, thankfully, and I'm sure that was more for the audience's benefit than Steffi's where, you know, Luna confessed and we got all the, the brand new recently created flashbacks. So I just wonder if she is going to keep playing this concerned daughter charade. That would be the smart thing to do. Whether she does it or not, that's another question. And I am wondering if Luna and Bill may over lap with their visits because he is seeing Poppy on Thursday, but you know how they overlap scenes. So maybe he shows up at the same time. I imagine Bill is not going to tell Poppy that Luna kissed him. We'll see. Thursday, August 29th, 2024, Bill goes to see Poppy Nazawa and he tells her that Luna is not his daughter. I wonder if Luna dropped the bombshell before that or she was leaving that for Bill to do. And Poppy is going to vow that she did not kill Hollis or Tom Starr and she did not rig the DNA test. And of course, we know she didn't do any of that, but... Katie has been, you know, still all in Bill's ear, like an earworm. Poppy's bad. Luna's the victim, yada, yada, yada. So 
I'm very interested in this conversation. And then that same day on Thursday, somebody gives Chief Detective Baker some new evidence. Now, I'm wondering if Luna, while she's at the jail, drops something off, even anonymously, you know, something to further implicate her mother to make sure that Luna herself doesn't go down for her crimes. Friday, August 30th, 2024, things are looking real bad for Steffi. But based on the costumes we're seeing, this is all like a day. You know, maybe we'll see other people in a change of clothes. Obviously, Steffi's not going to be getting a fresh outfit since she's in, you know, a glorified dog kennel. So Steffi is captive. She is weak. She is hungry. And she by then has figured out that she cannot get herself out of the cage. And she is just hoping that Finn is going to get there and find her. But I'm sure she's also remembering that she told him, I'm going out of town. Don't contact me. And she knows she doesn't have her phone. So Finn goes to Bill Spencer's house, you know, probably following Steffi's last steps before she supposedly left LA, maybe to ask Bill, do you have any idea where she was going? Did she tell you? And of course, Steffi left her phone there. That's why she first came back to Bill's house after telling Liam he needed to watch Kelly. She you know, came back in and then she saw the whole Luna and Bill thing. And then she was so freaked out, she left her phone behind. Now you would think Bill would have noticed it, but maybe it is still there when Finn shows up. And it is about to be a whole, you know, came in like a wrecking ball type crisis for Steffi. Unless, of course, they're going to use dynamite like they did for the Spectra Fashions demo. And an undated spoiler from the promo that we haven't seen play out yet, you know, that's going to be obviously Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sometime in there. Katie Logan heads over to Il Giardino and she and Sheila and Deacon are having some coffee and talking about how glad she is that Maniac Poppy is out of Bill's life. I'm sure she's going to, you know, go over the whole thing. Thing. Luna's not the daughter, you know, Poppy killed your two employees slash friends, and she faked the DNA test, stuff like that. All right, heading into the week of September 2nd through 6th, time is up for Steffi Forrester, but will Finn get to her before she is squashed like a bug in her cage as the demolition happens? Finn, of course, is terrified for her, and he is going to blame himself for Steffi's ordeal because it's like a chain of events, dominoes that got her to the point where she could be locked in that cage. And I'm wondering if Luna is going to set some other targets before she's done, like maybe meddling Katie Logan, because, you know, there's no way Luna is going to land Bill if Katie is in his ear. And there's going to be lots of shock and disbelief around LA when Luna is revealed to be oh, 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 so bad, a complete lunatic and not the sweet girl they thought. Steffi's near death event is not going to dissuade hope from her fixation on her husband, Fen. It should, it won't. You know, something's going on with Hope. And will Bill reject both Poppy and Katie after this? Because Katie was wrong with all her allegations and having Poppy around is going to be this grim reminder of what he could have had and then what Luna pulled and, you know, all that. I think it'd be great if Deacon Sharp banned Bill Spencer from Il Giardino because of his killer, not daughter, that took out his two employees that were also his friends. Taylor and Ridge are going to be horrified about what has happened to Steffi. And you know, I imagine that Taylor will blame Hope for Steffi being in the wrong place, wrong time, because Steffi wouldn't have been there to even see it happen and then to get taken captive if Hope had not been lip locking with Finn. So that is, you know, a straight line from A to B. So I can see how Taylor might think that. Those are all of our early spoilers. Come back soon, drop your comments, and definitely subscribe if you're not following us already. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt talking B&B with you guys seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 